Hi, Jerry Springer here. Would you like a personalized holiday message from me? Well, thanks to friends at Nosy, we're going to be sending out 12 such personalized messages. And if you'd like a chance to be one of the 12 to get this Springer stocking stuffer, uh, then just click on this video or the link below. Tell us to whom you'd like the personalized message sent and the best reasons for wishing them a happy holiday. Also, this holiday season, enjoy the Merry Jerry Christmas playlist on Nosy, and it's available for download on Pluto TV and Roku. Have a very happy holiday. everybody. You know, every Christmas, millions of children write letters to Santa Claus asking for the hottest toys on the market, but not the children you're going to meet today. Imagine a seven-year-old girl asking Santa for a bed because she has to sleep on the floor. Well, the Chicago Sun-Times annual Letters to Santa program received over 27,000 letters from children who, without the kindness of strangers, probably wouldn't have a Christmas this year. Well, we selected seven of these children and are going to make their holiday dreams come true today. Okay. First, uh, first, I'm going to need a little help all the way from the North Pole. How about a nice welcome for Santa Claus? meet our first family. Please welcome the Medinas to the show. Well, welcome to the show. And as I understand it, Maribel, uh, you wrote a letter to Santa, right? And would you like to read that letter now? Dear Santa, my name is Mabba Medina and I am in second grade at De Diego Academy. I really try hard in school. My teacher is a nice teacher. I live in a neighborhood with game bingers, but the game bingers don't bother me. I have one brother and two sisters. And mommy, my TV does not work. Could you or your helpers please fix our old TV for Christmas? Could you please bring me a bed to sleep on? I am, I, I and my brother have to sleep on the floor. It would be my dream to someday get my where this one whole whole family a bed for Christmas. Could you please make my my family warm coats? If you only have one coat, I will share it with my family. Also, what's this one? Mom, I know tough life has been tough for you, uh, but you are doing this right. You are raising absolutely lovely children. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Maribel, the, uh, the good news is that uh, your prayers have been answered. Uh, first, uh, we're happy enough to be able to tell you that we uh, have the beds you asked for. So let's go <laughs> out the bed. That's not all. We have another bed for you, courtesy of Harlem Furniture, and two more beds will be delivered to your home by Aronson Furniture. So, uh, from now on, <laughs> you all get to sleep in beds, okay? Now, Santa's got some more stuff for you. Santa, you want to take it? Yes, yes. I have something I've been sitting on. 
It looks like a garage door opener, but I'm not sure it is. You know what one of these is? Oh. You think you know what this goes to? Marty, what does that go to? What do you think? <laughs> Maybe it's a shaver for my beard. A, a TV? It's a remote for a TV? Where, do we have a TV here? Can we bring a TV? Here's a TV. Here you go. Here's a TV. <laughs> And every family is going to get some, some toys courtesy of, of Target, the fine people at Target bringing clothes and <laughs> boots and warm children's clothing. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Thank you. So now let's welcome the Mamek family, Susan and her three boys, George, Kevin, and Christopher. Uh, welcome to the show, and what, Kevin, you were the one who wrote the letter? Okay, do you mind yes. reading it now for us? Yes. My name is Kevin Mamick. I am nine years old. I have two brothers. George is 11 years old, and Chris is five. We live with my mother, Susan. My mother goes to school. She is working on her GED test. We do homework together at night in the kitchen. Last summer I was riding my new bike near my house when a big boy pushed me off the bike and took it. I was really sad. I had just gotten my bike a week before for my birthday. My mother called the police. They found the bike, but it was messed up. The gears don't work, and the handlebars are crooked, and they painted it a ugly blue. <laughs> this Christmas, my special wish is for a new aqua bicycle for myself and a mini red bike for Chris. My big brother George would like all Super Nintendo. <laughs> My mother works hard cleaning the house and doing her homework. She tries her best to help us. I had, wait, I hope you and Miss Santa have a great Christmas. Thank you, Kevin Mann. That is a beautiful letter. And you got to know there's no tougher job in the world, no tougher job in the world than being a single mom. So you are, one thing, you are very lucky to have such a great mom working so hard for you. you know? Well, Santa got your letter, so I think uh, we have a response to it. Do you want to bring out what we have? Okay. And here it is. Well, this little girl wrote Santa asking him to find her daddy a job. She doesn't know it, but her dad will get his start date when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back. 
Today we're celebrating the holiday spirit by granting surprise Christmas wishes to children who have written to Santa. Now, please meet 12-year-old Icy and her brother Jeremiah. I see you wrote a letter to Santa. Why don't you read it first now, okay? Hi, Santa. How are you? My name is Icy Smith, and I am a very nice person. I'm going to Diego Academy and work hard on my schoolwork. I'm a very good student. I live in a kind of bad neighborhood. There are a lot of gang breakers around my neighborhood. I live with my mom and brother. Sometimes food is hard to get. Please could you help me? I wish I could have a TV for my family so I could watch TV with my brother and mother. I also wish you could bring food so we could have enough to eat. Also, if possible, could you please bring me a small decorated tr Christmas tree? My apartment is very small, so the tree would have to be small. Santa, so if you could bring me a small watch for Christmas so I could give it to my mom because she never had a watch. Thank you for reading this letter and I hope you have a happy Christmas. That is, uh, that's a beautiful letter. What I want you to do now, I see, is uh, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Just want you to close your eyes. You don't open them until I tell you to, okay? That's the deal. And let's see if you pray hard enough and wish hard enough whether Santa can fulfill your wishes, okay? All right, you just keep your eyes closed. Okay, now I'm going to count to three, and when I count to three, you can open your eyes, okay? Okay. You were praying hard, weren't you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> count to three. Three. And look to your left. <laughs> Santa really liked your letter. And Santa, you have some more for uh, I yes, see in Jeremiah? Yes, I do. Your, your mother's not here. Right now, she has a daughter with a very cool name, doesn't she? I see. <laughs> I see. This is this is for your mother. She's never had a watch. She can have my no. She can have this one. A watch for your mother. Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas to you too. You too. Have a wonderful Christmas. And now let's bring out the next family, and the Diaz family is here with us. Uh, this is the Diaz family, Ernesto and his daughters, Carmen and Anna. And it's nice to have both of you with us. Thank you. And uh, Carmen, you have a letter that you wrote to Santa? Mm -hmm. Why don't you share that with us now? Dear Santa, my name is Carmen Diaz. I am 10 years old. I am in fifth grade at De Diego Academy. I hope things are good with you. I am doing well in school this year. I have a special Christmas wish to ask you. Could you please help my dad get a job? He is a good father and loves me very much. It is very hard without my mother. Could you also bring my dad, little sister, and me some warm winter clothes and a toy to play with? I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you can help me, I understand, because you are a very busy man. Love always your friend, Carmen Diaz. Um, that, what, what do you feel when you hear that, Dad? Well, happy, proud, 
real happy, real proud of her. And it's, it's true, it's been hard. It's been hard for me being a single father. I take off my hat to all those single fathers out there and single mothers because it's hard, it's not easy. I know. Well, you're doing something right. You're obviously raising two lovely children. Thank Your you. wish to Santa, uh, maybe it'll work. I'm standing here with Catherine Rose. Yes. We had um, found a job for you, and oh I would like God. to introduce Gina. <laughs> Gigi, you want to stand up? A job for their dad? Yes. Um, hi, my name is Gigi Gonzalez. I work for Republic Aluminum. I'm here to offer you, Mr. Diaz, a job, an opportunity with our company. And we will welcome you if you accept this package and fill the application and come on Monday morning to see us at 9 o'clock oh and fill God. the application, and you'll be starting for us as soon as possible. Your reaction? Well, I'm out of words. I'm so happy. I believe in Santa Claus now. <laughs> <laughs> well, 10 year old Dominique was born blind. She wrote her letter to Santa in Braille. She'll get a Christmas wish when we return. Stay with us. Traditionally a time for spreading goodwill. That's exactly what we're doing today with the help of Santa Claus and his elves. Uh, we've had children through the uh, uh, Chicago Sun-Times, a program that has been going on for 10 years now, thanks to uh, um, a reporter and columnist Jeff Zaslow. Uh, children have been writing their letters to Santa. He prints them, and people in this community have been responding with a tremendously big and generous heart. Um, uh, now I want you to meet Lucille and her 10-year-old daughter, Dominique. Now, Dominique was born blind. She wrote her letter to Santa in Braille with the help of one of her teachers. Dominique, if you would now read your letter to okay. Santa, okay? Okay. Dear Santa Claus, I am a girl who's 10 years old. Uh, Okay, let me see if I can help you because it's written down as well as the Braille, okay? It says, let me hold this here, okay? I try to be very good at home and at, at school. Okay. Um, I work. I work hard at my school work. My teacher says you might bring me a present. You are a nice Santa Claus. <laughs> well, you are an absolutely lovely young girl. Do you know that? <laughs> Mom, uh, tell me about Dominique. Uh, Dominique, she's a very responsible person. She don't like no one to feel sorry for her. She do things for her own. She's very good in school. She loves to go to church. She sings. She's just a very outgoing, spoken person. Yeah. You know? I like playing school, too. <laughs> <laughs> one day you're going to be a teacher? When I grow up. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what else? What else? I got a lot of play school stuff at home. You do? 
Well, I bet you're going to be a great teacher when you grow up, because you already got a great heart. Okay. Let's see. You wrote that nice letter to Santa. Let's see if Santa's responded. Okay, Santa, you want to help us out here? Yes, Dominique tries very hard, and she succeeds, and she said that she would like some play toys. She says she likes to have tea and, and play with some things at school. Well, Dominique, instead of just bringing you a couple small things, we brought you an entire set of toys. Come on over. Not just one little tiny plate or a or a bowl or a cup or saucer, an entire kitchen set of play toys. Okay, you want to walk over toys there? Are us. <laughs> this is the table, and it has two chairs. And here you have the kitchen sink and the stove. Here's, if you give me a hand, there's the kitchen sink. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to move the table back a little bit here. Okay, I'm just going to move it over here. Now, give me a, give me a hand, honey. And okay, here's the sink. It feels okay. cold. Yeah, well, you know why? Because you're touching a cold turkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. And you know, when you shake my hand, you're shaking the hand of a warm turkey. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Okay, you are just God's gift. Okay, and, we ha and Santa's elves uh, are bringing over some other t nice gifts for you. Okay. This mother wrote me a heartfelt letter asking me to help her family have a Christmas this year. I just couldn't say no. They're up next, so please stay with us. Hi, Jerry Springer here. Would you like a personalized holiday message from me? Well, thanks to friends at Nosy, we're gonna be sending out 12 such personalized messages. And if you'd like a chance to be one of the 12 to get this Springer stocking stuffer, uh, then just click on this video or the link below. Tell us to whom you'd like the personalized message sent and the best reasons for wishing them a happy holiday. Also, this holiday season, enjoy the Merry Jerry Christmas playlist on Nosy, and it's available for download on Pluto TV and Roku. Have a very happy holiday. for Christmas and uh, children from around the Chicago area have been writing letters to Santa and they've been uh, printed in the Chicago Sun-Times. We chose some of these letters to see if we can help respond and help Santa. Now I want you now to meet Laura, her husband Philip and their children Christopher, Rebecca, Zach and Adam. Now, I should tell you, when Laura found out her daughter's letter was being considered for today's show, she wrote a touching letter to me. Laura, would you read part of that letter? Dear Jerry Springer, I'm writing to see if you might help my husband and I make our children's Christmas wishes come true. Unfortunately, our family has fallen on hard times. My husband and I have tried very hard not to let it affect our children, but it is especially hard this year. We don't live for material things, but our children want things that we can't give them. We have gangs and drug dealers all over. I don't like raising my children in gang territory, but we have no other option. I'm currently going to school to earn a degree and hopefully find a good paying job. My husband works very hard and has been supporting all of us on his income. My husband and I have not been able to give our kids the things they want for some time now. All of the kids are great kids and do very well in school. They deserve to get much more than we can give them right now. I really don't want them to suffer through another Christmas. 
My kids need clothes and basic things, shoes, boots, coats, etc. But their greatest wish is for a computer. I would like to get them this because they can't go outside because of the neighborhood. Is there any way that you can help our kids' Christmas wishes come true? Sincerely, Laura Kadelka. Thank you. Um, that was a courageous letter to write, and uh, we've decided to help you make your wish come true for your children. Okay. That is the computer that you that you wanted, huh? Yeah, that's a gift for the whole family. You, I noticed you were really excited about this. <laughs> You know how to work this. So what's the first thing you're going to do on this? I know. I have it, I have it at school. And now you have one at home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have some gifts you want to give to your children? Go ahead. And these are the gifts you now are able to give to your children. Um, first of all, my, my son Adam likes helping my husband remodel the kids' bedroom. And... We got him a tool set. Thanks with the help. <laughs> uh -oh. Come on, bring it out here. Come on, bring it out here. Come on, out here. Oh, you're going to have Oh, he's... Huh? Look at what you got. What is this? A hammer. A hammer. There you go. Zachary really likes cars a lot. And here's a, a truck for Zachary. <laughs> and my daughter Rebecca was bugging me for a ballerina Barbie. And so she has a ballerina Barbie. <laughs> My son Christopher, <laughs> um, he likes Goosebumps, and he's been bugging me for um, Goosebumps books. So he's got some Goosebumps books and the Space Jam playset. Oh. Oh. Um, my husband's been supporting our whole family, and he works very hard. And we have a pretty bad car that he has to recharge the battery and he's got battery acid all over his coat. So for Christmas he really needed a new coat. They got him. May you have a very Merry Christmas. Next young Brandon wrote, Santa, I wish that God will make my mother well so we can spend the holidays together. We're going to meet him and his mother when we return. Please stay with us. Answering Letters to Santa, written by very special children. Please meet Tamara and her two sons, Brandon and Randy. Yes. And Brandon, you are how old? Eight. You're eight years old, and you wrote a letter to Santa, right? Yes. Okay, why don't you read us that letter now, okay? 
Dear Santa, my name is Brandon Lewis. I am eight years old and I go to Crown Academy. I would like for me and my brother, if you please, to get some clothes and a computer for Christmas. My brother is five years old and I would like to teach him how to use it. My mother has sickle cell and she goes to the hospital a lot. I wish that God will make my mother well so we can spend some time holidays together. It seems like she always gets sick and have to go to the, into the hospital on holidays. So if you can, please ask God if my mommy can stay home for Christmas so that we can all be together and open up our gifts together. Thank you, your friend, Brandon. Uh, that's that's a gorgeous letter, and uh, mom, your feelings now about your children and how have your past Christmases been? The last two past Christmas, I've been in a hospital, so this is hopefully this year be the first year that I won't be in a hospital. <sighs> how are you doing now? I'm fine right now, thank you. Yeah. And thank you for the wonderful letter. And I promise you that I'll try to be out the hospital. I hope I don't have to go. But if I don't have to go, I'll be home. Uh, well, you wrote your letter to Santa. Santa, you've heard their stories. Uh, yes. Is there any way we can give them a nice Christmas? Well, you have a whole audience of people who are going to pray and... People out in television land praying for your mother, that's one thing that we can all hope for, so let's hope for that. But Brandon, you know, Santa doesn't get much exercise. <laughs> uh, but this year I took up carrying big boxes to Chicago. But I need help now with this big box. I need a strong fella to help me. Can you give me a hand lifting this box? On the count of three, you ready? This is my exercise for the year. <laughs> one, two, three, up. This is a this is a Packard Bell computer donated from the fine folks at Montgomery Wards. You can have a lot of fun. You can teach your brother, right? Yes. Start teaching. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And we also have, Sam also has some gifts for Brandon and Randy. Okay, to enjoy your Christmas. Look what you got there. Yeah. You know, uh, this is obviously a wonderful mm -hmm. thing to be doing around the, cr the mm -hmm. Christmas season, but you're obviously dealing with something you have to deal with every day of your life. Yes. And you're still raising two children. Yes. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, every day is a struggle. I mean, I go day by day. It's different. Some days I'm up, some days I'm down. But through it all, my children help me because they always ask, well, Mom, are you okay? Well, Mom, do, if I'm crying and I don't want to go to the hospital, they say, well, Mom, you need to go. You'll be okay. When I'm in a the hospital, they call me and ask me how I'm feeling and stuff. So through, with their help, um, it's not so bad. God bless you. Okay. When we return, our audience gets a chance to get involved, and we'll enjoy a musical holiday treat. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank you. 
you. The families that appeared on today's show were all selected from the Chicago Sun-Times Letters to Santa program. It is my pleasure to introduce the real Santa of today's program. His name is Jeff Zaslow. Those of us who live here in Chicago know that Jeff writes a uh, column for the Chicago Sun-Times. You started this program 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago. We were looking for a way to get people involved. People love, like, this was such a beautiful show today. Wasn't it incredible today? <laughs> and, and we give people a chance. 27,000 kids write to us at the Sun-Times, write to Santa. We get their letters, and we parcel it out all over the area here. And everybody gets to play Santa to a needy kid. And we still have, in back of my office, Thousands of letters waiting to go. That still need to be. That still need to be answered. I guess and it's, it's, people love getting their kids involved because you go with a rich family will go to the, to this toy store with their kids, and say, here, let's buy something for somebody who needs it. You don't really need it. So it's a way to teach your children how to help other people. It's a way to feel good about Christmas and about that's the holidays. That's a That's a wonderful point. But yeah. And, and your viewers at home, we w welcome their, their donations, which will buy coats and shoes and even glasses and gloves. And we'll put that address on the screen so Terrific. people can still help. Uh, Thank you. Sir. <laughs> okay, you go up. Yeah. I got letters. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Who wants a letter? Anybody? Okay, while well, you're, well, you're, okay. My, I got helpers who do it too. While Jeff and his helpers distribute letters to our audience, Ricky Dillard and the New Generation Choir is going to perform for us. Take it away. Take this uh, opportunity to uh, thank Ricky Dillard and the New Generation Choir. We certainly enjoyed your. <laughs> you know, we did the show, but Jeff Zaslow deserves the thanks. For each year, through his column in the Chicago Sun Times, appealing to our better nature, to our caring, compassionate, and charitable instincts that lie somewhere within each of us, he prints these letters from kids to Santa knowing full well that we will be Santa's helpers, and we will respond. But you should know there was one letter we didn't read on the show today. It's worthy of note, however. It was from a 10-year-old girl, Ramona Menton. 
She asked for a baby doll and some books. She wrote the letter from a hospital bed, ending her request with a plea to Santa to pray for her. I can tell you that she got the doll and the books. In fact, her grandmother read one of them by her bedside. Ramona then closed her eyes and she went to sleep and she died. Do we need any other reminders how fragile and temporary our earthly journey is? How no moment is guaranteed? Let Ramona be a reminder how important it is not just to wait till the holidays, but to offer kindness and decency and love and caring to those whose paths we cross in this life wherever we can, whenever we can. How important it is to treat each moment in life as if it may be the last because it may be. The truth is we are surrounded in our homes, our neighborhoods, our country, and our planet by people who for whatever reason need a helping hand. So if we can help, why don't we? Santa can't do it alone. And we can't always wait till Christmas. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Santa number nine. This is Santa Jim. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa's on the Jerry Springer show. Every now and then a little Christmas dance. You know, if you're being a little blue, a little sad, just let yourself go. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. Merry Christmas. Wait, 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 wait. Now, you want me to read it or just say it? Feel the Santa vibes, really. That's the important thing, because the Santa... Can you see that? Can you see how happy I am right now? Oh, Jerry's helping Santa, making Christmas dreams come true. And answering your letters, bringing Christmas joy to you. <laughs> All right. Santa audition, Santa number 11. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Oh, Mrs. Claus is doing fine. She's busy baking now. We have many elves to feed. She's got to make the flan and the tartar sauce for the fish sticks. And... <laughs> Santa, take 12. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.